been asked a few times for the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of a compound like water and not just a single element. It helps to know what the chemical formula of that compound is. For example, water is H2O, meaning there are two hydrogens and one oxygen atom in that molecule. The other thing that's useful to know is what type of compound it is because hydrogen and oxygen are both non-metals. It is a covalent compound and it's going to share electrons. So how does that actually end up happening? Well, you're going to need to draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for the two H's and the O. What is it for hydrogen? Well, a hydrogen atom has one proton and no neutrons. If you wonder how I figured that out, I looked at the periodic table, which I've got over here. Hydrogen has an atomic number of one, which means there's one proton, and a total mass of approximately one. That mass is equal to protons plus neutrons. So put another way, the number of neutrons is the atomic mass, usually rounded to the nearest whole number, minus the atomic number. Anyways, one proton, zero neutrons. This here is just the nucleus. Then you need, in this case, one electron, because the atomic number is one, in the first shell. So I'm going to draw that first shell, and I'm going to put one electron in it. Now, oxygen is a different story. Oxygen has an atomic number of eight. That means it's eight protons and a mass of approximately 16. 16 minus 8 it tells you that there's 8 neutrons as well. So I'm going to write 8 protons, 8 neutrons. See how those add to 16? That's the nucleus. Now I need 8 electrons. You're only allowed to put 2 electrons in the first shell. So I'm going to put 1, 2 electrons there. Now I'm going to give myself a second shell. And I need six electrons here, since I need eight total. One, two, three, four. I like to spread them out before I double them up for grade 12 reasons. Six, wait, that, that was six, that's seven, that's the eighth one, or the sixth one in that outer shell. Great. That's where we're at with that. We need one more hydrogen because it's H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen, one P, zero N. I just copied that from over here. This is the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of hydrogen. Cool. Now when water forms from hydrogen and oxygen, what's actually happening is the hydrogens and oxygens are sharing electrons. The way that we like to show sharing of electrons the way that I, some teachers will ask you to do it is to group them in a circle. What I like doing is showing that they meet in the middle. I use a single headed arrow for the traveling of one electron and a single headed arrow for the traveling of this other electron. They're gonna meet in the middle and be shared and pair up. And then these ones are gonna meet in the middle and be shared and pair up. Now to show that in a Bohr-Rutherford diagram, you're going to take the central atom, in this case, oxygen. You're going to copy it out for the most part. There's my first shell. There's my second shell. The first shell was never involved in bonding. Bam, bam. Well, not involved in bonding here because it's not the valence shell. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six electrons that oxygen had brought. Now, for the hydrogens, which are now sharing electrons with oxygen, I'm going to draw the nucleus very close, and its nucleus is on its own. And then the first shell, because the first shell is the valence shell or the bonding shell for hydrogen, I'm going to make it overlap with the outer shell of oxygen. Notice how the circle that I drew there intersects that electron to show that it is shared between the two atoms. And that electron is also shared so it will go at the other meeting point or intersection point. I'm going to do the same thing here. One proton, zero neutrons. That's the nucleus. The first shell will go through that one electron that is shared 
and the other place where this outer shell intersects this outer shell will have the extra electron that hydrogen has brought. This is my Bohr-Rutherford diagram for water showing that the electrons between hydrogen and oxygen are shared. Beautiful. Best of luck to you.